All right, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to take the plow off of our 2007 F-250, our Boss V-mount plow. We did a previous video on how to put it on. This will be the video on how to take it off. If you want to see how to put it on, be sure to check out our other videos as well. All right, safety first is my first thing. I always want to be aware of where I'm at with the plow. This plow in particular is a nine foot, two inch V plow, Power V XT plow, as you can see there from Boss. It is a big plow and heavy. So I'm always careful about where I am, where I am with the light bar, the coupler down there. Um, Safety is the name of the game. So I have my controller, which is plugged into the truck. It is off, just in case, which I'm checking to see the up-down lever here, the switch here is off. Um, it's off for a couple of reasons, uh, or off for the one main reason, is because I'm not in float mode uh, in the controller. But So we're basically going to set the pins so they disengage. We're going to put the plow into float mode, which will allow this arm, this coupler, to lay forward in the light bar. And it will disengage the pins. We're going to disconnect our power, and we're good to go. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to grab my flashlight here to show you. Now, if you saw the video on how to mount it, if you don't, uh, check out our other videos, please. Uh, right here, there is an on-off switch, and we're in the on position because the plow is mounted. And what that does, it got us ready to, if you look here, you'll see right where the tip of my flashlight is. Uh, that's the pin that comes through on the other side. And there's one corresponding right where my flashlight's laying across. And we'll show you what those mounts look like afterwards. But that's the pin that holds in the top, and then there's a pin on the bottom as well uh, that rests in the bottom of the yoke. And to get the plow ready to come off, we're going to go from the off posi on position to the off position, excuse me, the on position to the off position. Now, I'm always very careful around here because stuff's under pretty high tension, so I'm always reaching above and not putting my fingers in the way. You want to be very careful. You know, I'm also technically right in the middle of where the plow is, which the plow is as far back as I can get in the V, so I feel okay, but still, just be careful. Throw this back to the off, keeping this is spring-loaded, will come up. See, this came up over here, and it allows this pin, when it gets deactivated, or when this bar comes down, to throw the pin back, it's under pressure. Want to be careful, don't stick your hands in there, things like that. I know I sound like a broken record, but... I can't imagine getting your fingers caught in any of that. So we're going to come on the other side, on the passenger side, do the same thing. I'm going to throw this a little easier to see because I don't have power connections. I'm going to throw this to the off position, watching my fingers don't get stuck at anything. Throw the off position, away we go. And I did notice one thing. This one's a little different. I don't have the piece that sticks up here. Interesting. I wonder where that is. All right. And actually, it actually shows you on the side here if you ever need to uh, fill your hydraulic fluid. But, uh, we're all set for now. The nice thing about this plow is everything's pretty much self-contained. Everything's in, uh, you know, in the plow itself. Very little, just the mount and some wiring on the truck. So now you might think, oh, I can go ahead and move my coupler and move my light bar, but you can't because we're not in float mode. Now, much like mounting the plow and moving that up, you need to be in float mode to dismount the plow. So you notice I have my controller off just from a safety perspective. I'm gonna turn it on. You see it go green there. Whoop, there we go, it's all green. And to put it in float mode, now it still won't work until I put it into float mode. Push and hold the button down, and you see now it went red. Let me focus, there you go. Snow is sort of, snow on the ground sort of affecting the picture here, but. There we go, now you can see it. So now I'm in float mode, so. No, I'm not. Now I am. So now I'm on float mode. This toggle switch becomes active. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up. Now, I don't want to be standing here because like the other video I showed you, I don't want to be anywhere near here. I'm going to reach in from afar and watch where I am with the plow in case something were to jerk and fall. Okay. But this is basically going to come up. You're going to hear the pins pop and then we're going to go the other way and push down. It will lay it down and then we're all set. Now, one thing to keep in mind, see how I have the plow in a V. This is very important, okay? For taking it off, when you have the plow in the V, it puts the plow pretty much in the exact position you need in order to get the plow mounted next time. If you don't have the plow in the V, let's say it's flattened out, or let's say it's more in the scoop mode, that drops these mounts down lower, and then you can't exactly easily without lifting up the plow, get it mounted to the truck. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Okay, so we're gonna lift, I'm watching where I'm at. I'm not gonna be anywhere near here. 
Lifting up, you're going to hear it pop, and you're going to see it down here. See that pin pop out? Okay. And now we're just laying right down. It's gravity, pretty much. Okay. It's laid right down. I didn't even have to push down on that lever. Uh, so just the, the gravity helped us out there, the weight. So now you see, let's get the light. I haven't done anything other than pop those pins, but now those pins would have been right here in this hole and over there too. Okay, now you see we're laying down. So I'm no longer really engaged the truck. So just for good measure, I'm going to push down here. Make sure we're, all, we are, I can get it to go a little bit. I'll just push it by hand. And so now what we're ready to do, totally disengaged. Now we'll pull off our, um, our power connect, or sorry, our, uh, our connectors for control. It's a key connector. And I'll pull off the main power cable. Do this by a little tough with one hand. Whoop. Go. And I'm going to right away put this cover on this. And that's because this is essentially live power, you know, 12 volts. So if I accidentally arc this someplace, like hit against metal or something that's grounded the truck, you could see some, uh, some sparks. And I'm going to put the cover on this right away too. And I'm going to put the covers on the other side before I wrap it up uh, with a tarp later on before storing it. So these covers just help protect the, uh, the, con the electronics from rain and stuff. In the springtime, I usually, if, I, if this wasn't the, still the winter, I would tuck these up and tie wrap them up to the, uh, the hook here keep them out of, out of the weather. So, and then when I'm done with the plow, I'll clean this up. But these have covers as well here. And you notice how I'm in the V, sitting right in the way, uh, right there. You know, a good spot. So we're gonna now come back over here. Not that it matters because we're just connected. I'm gonna shut my plow off from the, or shut the controller off. And we're going to just back the truck up just a little. Move my flashlight here so we don't run it over. Just back it up here just a little bit. And then you'll see where basically we come apart from the... And we're gonna just back up carefully. Good, shut it off. And then what I will do is, even if I'm plowing, I'm gonna disconnect the controller, uh, just so we're not doing any, uh, just so we don't have it hanging there for one, and in case it's drawn any power, anything weird like that. So now we can see, here are the pins, and I'm not gonna stick my finger in here, I'll be very careful, even though this is in the off position, I'm still not gonna do it. That's the pin that catches and releases and, and throws those pins out. You can see where the on-off was. You can see here where we coupled. So this pin on the bottom went right there, and the pin that shoots through goes through the hole right there. So now you see how you're basically connected in four points, two on that side, two on this side. Um, you can see this looks a little wet. I put some fluid film on there for corrosion protection because last year they actually got a little stuck. I'll have a link in the description of some fluid film. It's just a protection for rust and also coats everything, hopefully to keep the rust down, a little bit of lubrication there. But uh, and what I'll do is I'll take this, cover the, at least the electronics here and the uh, pump stuff with a tarp for now. Usually I put this in the garage, but uh, the grass is a little muddy. I'm not going to be able to get it in the garage right away. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to take off your Boss uh, Power VXT V plow. Be sure to check out the other videos we have, one of which will be how to mount this to the same truck. If you have any questions, please be sure to uh, drop me a line in the comments below. If you like this type of video, I appreciate you subscribing. Uh, click the thumbs up to like it, and uh, also click the bell to be notified when we do future videos. But as you can see, taking it off, uh, really not that difficult. Obviously, safety, safety, I uh, can't stress that enough. And then also, obviously, consult your owner's manual for your plow and uh, your type of plow. This is a little older plow. It's not a brand new one, so they may have changed things. I think the controllers look a little different, but uh, the basic idea is the same. Just be careful you don't pinch yourself between you and the truck, either from the plow or from the uh, actual plow light bar coming up. 
Um, you know, I can imagine too, if somebody, if even with a straight blade, if you had it cocked a little bit, you could get yourself in some situations over here. Just be careful. Remember, this, this is a lot of hydraulic pressure. It's not going to really care if you're in the way. Uh, and as you can hear, when the, those pins throw, you know, it, it makes quite a good sound. So be ready for that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out our other videos. Uh, have a nice day and uh, happy plowing.